guys I'm gonna show a technique, just a basic kind of guillotine, right? Just for instructional purposes, could be on his knees, right? So I'm gonna come in here, right? I'm gonna put his arm, his head in my armpit, right? And my grip, he's either gonna be, I, I kind of go like this, right? The more efficient grip is like this. It just hurts my finger, so I'm not gonna lie, I end up doing like this a lot. But this right here is, is gonna be better, so. I'm gonna come in, take off a sprawl or, or something. I'm gonna get my grip. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and rotate my elbow socket to his chin. Right? I want his chin sitting right in my elbow socket, and, and, and my forearm, my bicep should be out on his arteries, right? And we're gonna close it off just like a vice, right? So say I come in here, right? And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna close off all the space. I don't want to blow my chest. I keep my head on his back, right? I turn my head usually towards the way that my hand my grip is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay tight, but I'm going to loosen up just a little bit so I can rotate my arm. I don't want to pull here, be tight. I got it. I got his head in my armpit. I'm going to pull in tight, right? And now I'm just going to close it off, right? I'm going to use, I'm going to squeeze my hands together and help with this hand, right? This is the assist hand, just like this. So say like, go ahead, stand up. So say he, he takes like a, he takes like a failed shot on me. And I sprawl, right? Double on hook here, right? I get the grip. And, I, and the way I like to finish, I'm going to put... My right, my right chin, right, right across his waist. I'm gonna come up over the top of his back high, right? Put my head in the middle of his back so he can't pull his head out, and then squeeze from there, right? So we're here. I'm just like, I'm just like this, right? I'm pulling my fist or my fingers as if there was a clock to, to 12 o'clock, right? And my and my <coughs> elbow should be at six. That's how I want to finish. Elbow high, right? Everybody knows to the fence, like come here, like a front headlock, right? We, we teach it in Gracie Jiu Jitsu, right? He's gonna come over my shoulder, step around. So, <clears throat> I think Marcelo Garcia made it pretty popular. He keeps his elbow high, right? So he can't, so he can't come over my shoulder. And I can finish standing, or I can pull him down, right? Lock one leg. I can even drop my elbow here, just like that, right? So I'm coming in here, finishing, just like this. And this works better, gi. Uh, this works better no gi than gi. Not to say that you can catch it in the gi, but it's harder uh, in the gi. So this is a, a more of a no gi technique, right? Once you can get that no gi, then maybe you can catch it, pop a few people. All right, so say so we're here. Mm, I get my grip, if you can see here, just like this, right? And I rotate it, pull them down here. Okay, I close off all the space. I don't want to blow my chest. If I start to blow my chest, and it can start to pop his head out, right? There's nothing stopping him. So I want to I want to stay tight, just like the same uh, concept as a triangle. I pull his head down to finish. I'm doing the same thing with my upper body, and my head, right? I'm co I'm compressing his body, right? As I put the squeeze on, just like that. All right, guys. So that's just one one of the many ways to finish a guillotine. I think you call it like a spiral guillotine. All right. Awesome. <laughs>